Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been on the channel for about a month or two now, you might have seen a video called What If Every NFL Quarterback Was Exchanged With A Different Team? We're bringing it back, however, we're going to be doing it a little bit different. Last time, basically what we did is we took 16 pairs of the 32 teams, because there are 32 teams, divided by two, get 16 pairs, and we paired two teams up together. And what we did is we exchanged their quarterbacks. So let's say we had Tom Brady the Buccaneers and Josh Allen the Bills. Basically straightforward, Tom Brady to the Bills and Josh Allen to the Buccaneers. Now, I did it off camera last time, which was kind of lame. So this time I'm on wheeldecide.com and in front of me you can see is a spinner wheel of all 32 starting NFL quarterbacks. Disclaimer though, some teams we do not know who the starter is going to be. For instance, the Dolphins with, they just drafted Tua, but Ryan Fitzpatrick is the starter right now. So we don't know who's going to start. And also the, I believe it is the Chargers who just drafted uh, Justin Herbert and their starter right now is Tyrod Taylor. So I just have Tyrod Taylor and Ryan Fitzpatrick listed for those teams. However, the Bengals, they just released Andy Dalton. So Joe Burrow is their starter. So Joe Burrow is on the starting quarterback list. He's the only rookie. So with that being said, I think it is time to spin this wheel and get our first matchup. Let's see who is going to be our first pair. Here comes the first spin right now. It is going to land on Ben Roethlisberger from the Steelers. And Ben Roethlisberger with the Steelers is going to switch with... He is going to... Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs. That's an awesome one already. So Steelers and Chiefs will switch quarterbacks. That's going to be a fun one to see as our first matchup is already set on to our next one next spin we're going to get and it's going to be jared stidham now he is the patriots starting quarterback you probably never heard him jared stidham from the patriots is going to switch with it's going to be kyler murray from the cardinals the patriots and cardinals will also switch on to our third switch here we go who's it going to be who's it going to be it's going to be Sam Darnold from the Jets, New York Jets, Sam Darnold, and he's going to swap places the quarterback system with Joe Burrow from the Bengals. Joe Burrow all the ready going to the Jets, so Jets and Bengals switching, that's honestly a really bad matchup, but next one, we've already done three, Lamar Jackson from the Ravens, that's going to be a good one, let's see who he gets paired up with, and he is going to switch with Kirk Cousins with the Vikings, that's going to be dangerous as the Ravens and the Vikings make a switch of quarterbacks. Our next one is going to be between, and it looks like it's going to be Teddy Bridgewater of the Panthers, recently new name starter. Teddy Bridgewater is going to switch with Ryan Fitzpatrick. That's another bad one, but we now have the Panthers and the Dolphins switching. That's a really eh. Next one up, it's going to be Drew Locke from the Broncos. Drew Locke from the Broncos is going to exchange spots with Drew Brees, so the, the two Drews exchange as we have the Broncos and the Saints. We still have some pretty cool quarterbacks up there. We have Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, can we get a matchup between those two? That'd be crazy. Next one up is going to be Dak Prescott from the Cowboys. And the Dak Prescott is going to switch with Matt Ryan to the Cowboys and Falcons, which that's an interesting one. I like to see how that one's going to go out. Cowboys and Falcons will make the next switch. On to the next one, we're going to have... It's going to be Carson Wentz from the Eagles, who gets injured too much. Will he stay healthy this year? Who knows? He's going to switch with Deshaun Watson. That's going to be a fun one. Eagles and Texans will switch in this one. That's going to be a fun one to watch in the franchise mode. Up next is, there he is, Tom Brady from the Buccaneers. And Buccaneers, Tom Brady is going to switch with Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins has some big shoes to fill as Tom Brady is going to the Redskins. That's funny. Bucks and Redskins are switching. That's like the most overhyped team and like one of the worst teams this year. Up next is Jared Goff from the Rams. And Goff from the Rams. Still some good quarterbacks up there. Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. And he's going to go with Jimmy Garoppolo. So the Rams and 49ers, the conference uh, rivals, are switching Rams and 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo up next. What do we have? Like 10 quarterbacks left up there. Mitch Trubisky from the Bears. What if he switched with Aaron Rodgers? That would be deadly. <laughs> I would hate to see that. And he's going to switch with Phillip Rivers. So the Bears and Colts. Almost said Chargers. Bears and Colts will switch. Our next one up. We're down to, what is it, like eight quarterbacks now? We're almost done with this already. It's going to be Tyron Taylor from the Chargers. And Tyron from the Chargers will switch with Russell Wilson. So Chargers and Seahawks will make an exchange. 
Okay. Guess who's still up there is Aaron Rodgers, Gardner Minshew, Daniel Jones, Derek Carr, Ryan Tannehill, Josh Allen, Baker Mayfield, and Matthew Stafford. Those are the quarterbacks left. And next one up is Gardner Minshew from the Jaguars. And the Jaguars, Gardner Minshew will switch with Josh Allen for the Bills. So Jaguars and Bills will make a switch. All right, next one up. I think we're down to six quarterbacks now. It's going to be Matthew Stafford from the Lions. What if he switched with Aaron Rodgers? we got a rival there. That'd be kind of fun to see. And he will switch with just barely Derek Carr. So it is Lions and Raiders switching on this one. And we only have two matchups left. Here we go. Next one up is going to be Ryan Tannehill from the Titans. And the Titans' Ryan Tannehill will match with the Baker Mayfield. So Titans and Browns switch. And that leaves us with one more, Aaron Rodgers and Daniel Jones, meaning that the Packers and Giants will make a switch. So we have our 16 pairs. I'm going to get into a franchise mode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange all these quarterbacks. I will see you guys just in a second when I get this franchise up. We'll run through this franchise, go through the season, look at MVP, who's going to win the Super Bowl, stats, everything like that. And yeah, here we go. Okay, so we're back. Believe me or not. That took 35 minutes to change every single quarterback to their appropriate team. Madden, please tell me you're listening to this. Please, please add a force trade feature. With that being said, uh, let's take a look at the quarterbacks, mainly because I already forgot to. And just to recap, so we'll start with the Giants. On the Giants, we have Aaron Rodgers, and we'll go down the list from here. Jaguars, Josh Allen, Jets, Joe Burrow. I know that's not Joe Burrow. I just renamed Andy Dalton because there's no rookies yet. Lions. Derek Carr, Packers have Daniel Jones, Panthers have Ryan Fitzpatrick, Patriots with Kyler Murray, Raiders have Matthew Stafford, Rams with Jimmy Garoppolo, Ravens with Kirk Cousins, Redskins with Tom Brady, that's the funny one, Saints with Drew Locke, the other Drew, Seahawks with Tyrod Taylor, Steelers with Patrick Holmes, that's going to be overpowered, Texans with Carson Wentz, Titans with Baker Mayfield, Vikings with Lamar Jackson, Bears have Phillip Rivers, Bengals with Sam Darnold, Bills have Gardner Minshew the second, Broncos have Drew Brees, Browns have Ryan Tannehill, Buccaneers, Dwayne Haskins Jr., Cardinals have Jared Stidham, Chargers have Russell Wilson, Chiefs with Ben Roethlisberger, Colts with Mitchell Trubisky, Cowboys with Matt Ryan, Dolphins with Teddy Bridgewater, Eagles with Deshaun Watson, Falcons with Dak Prescott, 49ers with Jared Goff, Giants with Aaron Rodgers, and that's all of them. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simulate the entire season, and I will be back to see the stats, the Super Bowl winner, and the MVP. Let's go. Simulated all the way to the playoffs. It's time to take a look at these standings. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. And the NFC East, the Giants lead. They have Aaron Rodgers. Let's take a look at the entire standings. The Colts. I'm trying to think of the Colts have. Don't they have Mitch Trubisky? Are you kidding? 12 and 4 with Mitch Trubisky? Okay, Vikings with Lamar Jackson. That's understandable. Uh, Browns, I don't even remember they have. I think it's Ryan Tannehill. Giants have Aaron Rodgers. Saints have Drew Locke. Patriots have, what is it, Kyler Murray. Chargers have Russell Wilson. Okay, that makes sense. Bengals, I believe they had Sam Darnold. Titans have Baker Mayfield. Ravens did not make the playoffs. You know, they made 10-6. and six. I forgot who they have. Redskins with Tom Brady made the playoffs at 9-7. Cowboys with Matt Ryan made the playoffs at 9-7. Chiefs missed the playoffs at 9-7. And the Niners made the playoffs at 8-8. Eight eight. That's pretty sorry. I believe they had Jared Goff. How about Panthers? 7-7-2. Seven, seven, I don't know why, but every time I do a Madden franchise, there's always ties. I mean, why can there never not be a tie? The Rams, with Jimmy Garoppolo, finished last. Followed by Texans, Raiders, Broncos, Seahawks, Bills, Cardinals, Packers. And yeah, so our playoffs is set. Now we're going to simulate the playoffs. Actually, first, let's take a look at our standings and our, or not standings, our stats. And our MVP winner, who is going to win the MVP? And it's going to be Deshaun Watson with the Eagles, followed by Baker Mayfield, Mitch Trubisky, Josh Allen, Russell Wilson, Zeke, Drew Locke, Phillip Rivers, Prescott, and Ryan Tannehill. That was pretty weird. I'm kind of confused about this. I mean, Deshaun Watson makes sense, but Baker Mayfield and Trubisky is a little odd, followed by Josh Allen. Uh, so Deshaun Watson for the Eagles is our MVP. Now let's take a look at the entire league. There's Aaron Rodgers right there. It's already spoiled. Who leads in passing yards, all of everything like that? It is going to be Baker Mayfield with 4,400 yards, 43 touchdowns and 16 picks. Not bad. Tanhill, Rivers, Log, Mahomes, Rebreeze. Followed by for rushing, Zeke always seems to lead McCaffrey. And receiving, 
D.D. Westbrook with the, I'm trying to think who his quarterback was. Uh, I don't remember Golden Tate who had Aaron Rodgers as quarterback. So this is obviously going to be weird because they're with playing with quarterbacks they're not used to. So you're going to see a lot of names you're not used to, such as Jameson Crowd and Adam Humphreys. DeAndre Hopkins still up there. Uh, you, you still got some pretty good receivers, but you got a lot of weird receivers you probably never heard of or just are underheard of. D.D. Westbrook with five touchdowns. How about Golden Tate with 15 touchdowns? Humphreys with 16 all over a 1,000 yards. So those are our stat books. Now it's time to stimulate the playoffs. Who is going to win the Super Bowl, and what is the matchup going to be? Let's see. Okay, our Super Bowl is set. It's between Matt Ryan and Russell Wilson, featuring the Dallas Cowboys and the Chargers. Let's go ahead and simulate one next week. Let's simulate to the next week. And who is going to win the Super Bowl between the Cowboys and the Chargers? Cowboys have Matt Ryan. The Chargers have Russell Wilson. As it is loading, let's take a look at who's going to win our Super Bowl. And it's going to be Chargers by a mile. So Russell Wilson gets another ring this time with the LA Chargers. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the concept. It's a lot of fun to do, especially the spinner wheel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys. I will see you guys later.